And finally, guys, the third in-depth analysis trailer. Now, for this one, I looked at the film trailer for District 9, which is quite an old film, uh, as it was um, released uh, summer 2009, which was its rough release date at the time that this trailer was um, brought out. But anyway, let's jump right in. So uh, at the start we see a green back background which is uh, also greeted with some white text um, which is uh, a little bit of just um, information about films in general uh, and this is the sort of thing that you see on uh, most films for trailers and um, just the beginning of the whole film. Uh, and this uh, gives information uh, like the film rating and so on. So during the first half of the trailer, uh, the aliens are reverted as either them or they. Uh, this keeps the audience on their toes and guessing uh, uh, who and what all these people are talking about. Since uh, straight as you watch the trailer, there's no indication that these are aliens that um, uh, these people are referring to. So. Um, you start to think, oh, could this, you know, it, I mean, for, it could be aliens that uh, some people could think, but then also it could be uh, terrorists or some different type of organization. Uh, but anyway, so I quite, I think that's quite interesting as uh, it keeps you on your toes and it keeps you guessing, which uh, already leads into quite an interesting plot. Um, then it cuts to a piece of, piece of text saying that. Uh, they, once again, are not welcome. Uh, makes you think that they are some sort of terrorist group, as I just said. Um, as it shows um, uh, different scenes of people from the military uh, going around in checking areas uh, on the ground and as well as uh, helicopters. And then it comes up with another two sets of black screens with text with the first one, or second one now, saying they are not accepted, and then the third one saying they are not human. Obviously giving away the whole um, idea and saying you know that these are aliens and that they're not from this world. Uh, then it comes up with the credits um, showing who has presented the film, uh, which is um, Peter Jackson, and then it also shows who has directed and came up with the idea and his name is uh, Neil Bloom Bloomcamp is I think how you say it um, and then finally the the title of the film District 9 appears uh, just with um, a black screen um, it also shows at the end uh, D um, dash 9.com uh, as a website reference for the film which could hold possible extra information uh, about the film, about the making of the film or even some easter eggs and uh, uh, maybe a spoiler of uh, things that happen within the film within the entirety of the whole film when it is released um, and then also uh, at the very end it presents uh, and gives credit to everyone who has helped uh, create the film. So this is the same sort of thing as what I said in uh, the last video with Men in Black, you know, giving um, <coughs> giving credit to everyone who has helped out. Um, now within, th oh, it's not with it. Well, now throughout this whole trailer, it's quite a dark theme as um, they are trying to keep it quite mysterious, especially before. Um, they release the information that these people, um, well, well, not these people, but these extraterrestrials are not from this earth and that they're alien. So it keeps it quite mysterious throughout and then uh, as soon as that is released it gets a bit more up pace and it shows a few action scenes and um, the music is quite slow. Uh, which helps with the whole uh, mystery as you know it wants you to take time to try and piece together the the two bits of text uh, which are they are not welcome and they are not accepted 
and then bringing in the third and final piece of text saying that they are not human. So it's trying to get you to sort of um, take the first few bits of text and try and you know link it together as it carries on, but then also since uh, the ideas of terrorist groups and hacker groups uh, are all over the place, um, it does mean that some people uh, are definitely going to lead towards that side um, of the whole story. And with the title District 9, um, you know, it uh, gives a sense of that these people are in some sort of isolation and aren't going to be let out anywhere. And then I guess that could um, link in with um, illegal immigrants as, you know, um, obviously if they're illegal immigrants they're not supposed to be there so maybe within this district they are coming together to uh, just commit one area of space or a, a large area of space where um, these legal illegal immigrants can stay if they do come over to the, come over to the country and then since uh, they are illegal this would make sense about how people are saying they're not welcome since they don't have the right to be um, to be here and the fact that they are not accepted once again because they don't have the right and also the fact that uh, they'd be costing that area more money since uh, people will have to be paying for this District 9. But anyway all of those ideas are then instantly thrown out the window as soon as we see they are not human which uh, is quite an impactful piece of just small piece of text because uh, just with the two leading up to it it just starts getting you thinking and then with the text they are not human it leads you to think okay so it's not going to be a terrorist group it's not going to be a hacker group it's not going to be illegal um, immigrants uh, so what kind of aliens um, are they you know are they here for war are they here for peace um, were they here on purpose or by accident and it just gets you thinking throughout the whole sort of trailer of um, what is the um, motive of these um, aliens and why have they came to earth and why are they staying on earth uh, and they must the humans must think that they're very dangerous since they've created what seems to be a district of where they've closed them off and uh, keep them captive uh, and so yep, yeah, that's this third and final in-depth analysis done. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you.